We're in the year 2023. If you don't know to pray over your food by now, then <laughs> before you eat it, I don't know what to tell you. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. 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 Barakada Yahawa, Bahashom, Yahawa Shai. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahawa Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahawa, Bahashom, Yahawa Shai. And this is going to be a quick response. Going into a video which I found right here. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video and continue from there. Look what's happening to our food. So you saw the video, you know, in some of the videos, they were spraying pesticides, they were spraying chemicals, they was dying particular foods. Like um, you like you saw the peas, okay, the peas were being dyed a particular color, the watermelon was being dyed a particular color. You know, some of the food, it looked old, it looked great, but you know, they were still using food coloring on it. You know, that's why you gotta be careful when you buy particular products from off the shelf, especially for consumption. Watch out for food coloring, cause you don't know what it could have looked like before it was dyed the particular color that you see it. You know, and a lot of people, they are unaware of that because of, of the, the state that we live in. You know, we, we live in America where our food is defiled. OK, so now before I get the book of Ezekiel, let's get that in the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Now, going back to the Georgia Guidestones, okay, one of the so called elite's main memos is what? Maintain humanity under 500 million. So they plan on mass genociding a large number of people through multiple applications and food is one of them okay the v-a-c-c-i-n-e is another uh, form of method medications you know the air we breathe the water we drink they plan on killing off a lot of people through different applications but uh, of the many different applications that have Succeeded in, in genociding a lot of people amongst those categories I named earlier just now, food is at the top of the list because food is something that we have to eat. Without food, we die. So what better way than to target somebody than by tampering with the food? And that's basically what the so-called elites did. They tampered with the food, you know, and, and now nowadays you don't know what you're eating. You could be eating edible plastic, which is what rice basically is. Rice is basically edible plastic. There ain't no such thing as rice anymore. Not unless you go overseas or not unless your rice comes from overseas, from places such as India or China, or Japan. OK, major wheat or grain exports come, excuse me, from those regions. OK. 
And uh, and uh, the reason why a lot of people has died out from food, because what do people mainly get from eating food? They get cancer. They get diabetes. OK, they get um, gangrene. They get arthritis. They get all kind of elements and sicknesses. They get the flu. They get diseases that ultimately put them on a deathbed to where that they can't perform their daily functions. And basically, they're just laying in bed, riding away, waiting for the Lord to take the spirit out of their bodies. Most of the time, this comes from people and their diets and how they used to eat for decades or years before finally reaching that age. And that's why a lot of people, especially our people, the Israelites, which are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, once they reach that, that particular age in their life, you know, they end up with cancer or gangrene. Okay, and why is that? Because their whole life they've been eating pork, shrimp, lobster, crabs. They've been eating potato chips, McDonald's, fast food, greasy foods, you know. You know, and, and they rarely eat like green beans, you no know, peas, kale, salads, you know, which now when you read Sirach, the I believe it's the 38th chapter, it tells you that the Lord have created medicines out of the earth. And those medicines are talking about your herbs, like your carrots, your spinach, your broccoli, your, your uh, onions, okay, your kale, your cilantro, your, ro your rosemaries, your basils, okay, your, your uh, arugulas. And there's many different type of plant-based diets that you can go on, even smoothies made from high antioxidant berries, such as raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, okay? Bananas mixed with, or uh, mixed with apples, you see? There's all kind of health, healthy ways you can go about eating, but no, Jake, Jake want to eat bullshit. And then when it's too late, you know, now 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 they want to cry when their arm got to get amputated because there's gangrene in their arm. They can't use their arm no more. They got arthritis to to the point to where they can barely move their joints. Their joints are stiff. You know, that comes from your diet. And a lot of the time people die because of their diet. And yeah, the Lord will punish you if if your if if your diet is trash. And you're doing nothing to 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 better your diet. You know, you're just you're just eating like shit without a care in the world. Well, the Lord's going to judge you. He's going to plague you. OK, just like those those guys that that was eating quail in the book of numbers. And, and the Lord basically gave the ass food poisoning. OK, I mean, but that's a story for another time. But the point the point is that it's well proven that in the past Billions uh, or over a billion people have died just from eating food alone because people, they don't have to take a V-A-C-C-I-N-E, you know, which is how some people die. You know, you don't have to, uh, you know, take medication, but I tell you what you have to do. You have to eat. You have to drink water. And that's another thing about Jake. You know, Jake don't care what he drinks nowadays. You know, you over there drinking soda, you know, you drink, you, you, you know, you, your whole diet is acidic. So then the, the older you get, the more your immune system slows down. And right before you know it, you know, your, your, your immune system is so messed up from your diet that it basically can no longer fight off the harmful effects that come with the food you're eating. So then what? Then all those all those bad things that come with your food invade your body. And just like that, you're just you're through. You you got gangrene. You can't walk. You're on crutch. You're, you're on a crutch, you know. You in a wheelchair, you can't stand up. You know, you peeing on yourself, you peeing on yourself at night because it literally takes two minutes for you to get from your bedroom to the bathroom. So, so you figure, you know, why not? You know, I'll just change my bed sheet to my, and, and, and you know, I mean, it, it, that's a, a messed up condition to be in, but it's like, look at your condition. And then you, you're barely exercising after you eat fried chicken and, and greasy foods. 
You know, your, your first instinct after you eat is just to lay down and watch sports or watch a movie or play video games or watch TV shows. You don't go outside. You don't run around. You don't shoot the ball in the hoop. You don't you don't throw 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 the ball with your friend or something. You don't even have a bike. You know, you don't walk because you got a car. You drive everywhere. You're lazy as all shit, you know. And that's another thing about America. America has made people lazy. OK, you go down to China, they have hum, uh, human carriages where basically it, it, it's a man who's basically pulling somebody that's in a carriage that that's sitting in a carriage with two wheels. It's called a human carriage. OK, now they have horse carriages, you know, where, where the carriage has four wheels and, and there's basically a guy sitting on a horse guiding the horse while the horse is pulling the carriage. But they have human carriages. They have bikes down there, you know, and I'm talking about them Chinese and Japanese. They actually work out. They get exercises in and their their diet, you know, for the most part is what rice, sushi. Now, I don't know about their chicken because what they call chicken is actually cat and dog meat, which you're not supposed to eat. But, you know, I mean, you know, sushi, rice, you know, they work out. But come on, you come over here to America and what do you see? You you'll hardly see anybody working out here in America. OK, so let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter four, verse 13. And it says this. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. OK, and well, defile. OK. When you look up the word defile, it literally means corrupted, you know, not normal. OK. You see. And that's basically our food. Our food has been corrupted, you know, by pumping all our meats with anti antibiotic antibiotics, pumping them with. um, I, I don't know what they was doing, you know, the, and you you seen what they was, you know, putting into the melons, the cucumbers and the different fruits. They was dying particular vegetables, different colors, you know. Well, there, 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 there you go. That's uh, Ezekiel 4 and 13 coming to pass. Now, that doesn't justify eating like shit. You know, even when you're when, when you think you're eating your most healthiest, still pray over your food. Why? Because you never know what you might be putting into your temple. Shalom. What's happening to our food? 